Hello and welcome to Frankfurt to the 2011 Pro Light and Sound Show where we're on the GLP German Light Products booth where we want to show you some of the new and exciting launched products here. We've got the Wash One and the Spot One, part of the Impression range. Now we're looking at the new Impression Wash One fixture, which is making its absolute debut here at Frankfurt, never been seen before. It's a new wash light using an RGB LED system uh, and gives a nice smooth color mixing across its whole beam, as you would expect from previous Impression fixtures. It's got a few special features to it. First of all, the beam is mixed inside the fixture. And so when it exits the fixture at the front, it's coming through a micro Fresnel lens already mixed. So you only see a single color in the front lens. The fixture features a zoom range of six to 60 degrees. That's a 10 to one ratio and is a big spread. On top of the zoom range, we also have a special beam mode inside the fixture. By swapping over one of the internal lenses, we can bring the beam right down to a very narrow 2.8 degrees, giving a really sharp, intense be mid-air beam look to the fixture. One of the features that the fixture also has is a beam shaper. Coming in from two sides of the beam, we're able to shape the beam into a more rectangular fashion and then take control of the shape of the beam and either index it or rotate it continuously so that it can be aligned to a specific space on a stage or to a specific object that needs to be lit. A, a car, for example, at an exhibition. The LED engine inside the Impression Wash One is made up of an RGB system and is rated at 20,000 hours, so it has a great long lifetime. In the event that you use up all of those 20,000 hours and want to put a new one inside, it's totally replaceable. Now in the cooling system inside the Impression Wash One separates the LED section from the rest of the fixture. So it's not pulling air through the lenses inside in order to cool the LED arrays at the back. They're totally self-contained. So you're not getting undue uh, fog juice or, or haze or dust being pulled through the fixture. It really helps you keep, keep it nice and clean, reducing overall maintenance on the fixture. One brand new feature inside the Impression Wash One is the ability to focus the edge of the beam. Now, it's a wash light, so it's got a soft edge, but there are degrees of softness, and the focus channel allows us to change the softness from a very, very soft edge to a slightly harder soft edge. It's kind of like going between a PC lens and a Fresnel lens. Being an impression fixture, it features a baseless design. So we're able to put half couplers or other clamps directly into the base of the fixture and keep it as unobtrusive as possible. There is no top box with extra ballasts or starters because we're using an LED engine and don't need that equipment. It means we can keep the overall weight of the fixture down as well. So it weighs just 22 kilos. Like the Spot One, the Impression Wash One features a new menu system to it. Uh, designed into the arm, it features a large graphical display and is easy to navigate to set up all of the options for the fixture, but also interrogate the fixture and get information out. You can find out how hot it's been running, how long it's been running, the, the junction temperature of each individual LED if you want. And of course, when you've stopped using it, it automatically blacks out. A few practical features of the design include a tilt lock on the arm so that the head can be locked while it's being transported or packed into a flight case. And also a USB socket which allows you to take information out of the fixture into an external database or, or service system so you can keep an eye on all of your fixtures and log their usage. The Impression Wash One features 16-bit control pan and tilt movement using three-phase stepper motors. It's highly repeatable and gives you 540 degrees of pan movement and 340 degrees of tilt movement. The Impression Spot One is getting its launch here at Frankfurt 2011. It really is a breakthrough in LED technology products. It features an RGB system that has a high power, equivalent to a 700 watt discharge fixture in color and in white as well. By using an RGB based LED system, we eliminate completely the need for any dichroic inside the fixture. No color wheels, no dichroic flags, none of the maintenance that goes with them, none of the cleaning that goes with them. And you get some advantages. Being LED, we get absolute instant color changes. There's no mechanics involved, it's all electronic, so color bumps now happen absolutely instantly. Never been seen before in a fixture of this type. 
The feature set inside the Wash 1 features two Gobo wheels, each with seven rotating Gobos on. All of the Gobos, as well as rotating, can index as well using 16-bit control. They can be run at various speeds, fast to slow, in any direction, and they're all interchangeable. Every single one can be replaced, and you can replace them with metal Gobos, glass Gobos, colored dichroic gobos or even structured glass gobos. There's enough depth into each gobo slot that you can put anything inside that you choose. The zoom range on the uh, Impression Spot 1 runs from 10 to 32 degrees, which is a great usable range. Along with two rotating gobo wheels, the Spot 1 also has an animation effects wheel. And this is an oversized gobo wheel, which instead of rotating around its own center like a gobo, rotates across the whole beam continuously. Now this can be positioned into the beam and then rotated in either direction at various speeds for lots of different effects. We can then take the wheel and rotate it to a different area of the beam. So we can rotate, we can make it move up and down for certain movement. We can make it move left and right for other movement. Imagine you want to create a fire effect then we need the flames rising upwards. Imagine we want to create some, sky, some clouds moving across the sky, then we need some horizontal movement. You can achieve both in the fixture. If you want different effects, then the animation wheel itself can be interchanged for other styles. The Spot 1 also features a three-facet prism. It can be rotated or indexed and controlled, again, at various speeds at a, in any direction that you choose to spin it. The Spot 1 also has an iris inside. It's super fast and it runs from open to closed in 0.2 seconds. So you can get some really snappy effects with it. Dimming inside the Spot 1 is not done with pulse width modulation control. It's done a different way. And this means that it gives absolutely no flicker on any setting at any time, whether working on, in a TV studio with any kind of camera, because it just doesn't use that kind of technology. So as you can see, the dimming runs very smoothly all the way down to zero. The Spot 1 also features a shutter channel. This gives a, a, a strobe effect of frequencies up to 50 hertz, which is extremely fast. It's not done mechanically, so there are no moving parts inside. Because we're using this LED, we can do everything electronically and get these super high speeds out of it. The Spot 1 has full color mixing using the red, green, and blue diodes of its original engine but you can get extremely smooth colors across the whole beam. As you can see, there are no funny halos of color appearing. There is no dark spots or funny colored spots appearing anywhere on the beam, in the center or, or towards the edge or anywhere. What you get is just beautiful, smooth color mixing. What you would expect from a fixture of this quality. One big advantage to the beam on the Spot 1 is the smooth, flat feel that you get. Unlike using discharge sources, which have a very defined hotspot and then a high tail off towards the edge of the beam, what you see here is a very flat, even field. It makes for better gobo projections, it makes for better images, and it just really looks much nicer. The base features both 5-pin and 3-pin XLR connectors and the mains power input using a Nutrix PowerCon connector. The power supply is auto sensing from 90 to 250 volts and at 50 or 60 hertz. So you can easily plug it in anywhere in the world and the fixture will run perfectly. So thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed seeing these two fantastic new products. Well, I've certainly enjoyed showing them to you. And if you want to see them in person, please get in touch. Here come the contact details. We'd love to show them to you.